Hi Scorpio, welcome to your October reading. We're gonna get right into the messages that I was receiving when I was meditating and then we're gonna pull some cards, but yo Scorpio, it's interesting. So as I was getting in tune with your energy, I first of all got the image of a small little green leaf, like small itty bitty beginning of the season, like a tiny little new growth. And as I continue to just kind of get into with the energy, um, the image got very clear where it seemed to be an offspring of a, a bigger plant or like a bigger tree or like, you know, a tiny little shoot off of some large well-established plant and it just kind of made me think about my plants that I have I have an aloe vera and like when it gets a certain size it starts producing um its offsprings it's tiny little pups and so it made me wonder like if there's something to do with like offspring or expansion or like new growth but like it's a, a second generation third generation fourth generation so that might actually be literal like some of you actually could be pregnant or pregnancy kind of theme going on here fifth house kind of energy so i don't know what's going on in the stars in regards to that but for some reason i'm feeling like fifth house offspring reproducing um expansion new life being birth and then as i continue to get in tune with your energy then i got the image of this card from my animal spirit deck the elk and so elks mooses or i guess in the correct english term meese <laughs> uh, they lose their antlers um at the end of their mating season mating season offspring reproduction reproducing new growth so i wonder how this is tying in with your reading because i'm curious i'm curious about a few things first of all the elk and just the fact that they drop their antlers every single year that's very scorpionic when you think about it like death rebirth type shit and that's literally what the elk be going through in like december january so it makes me wonder like if those months are going to be kind of tied into this energy um after eclipse season where you're really gonna see this this transition take place um and the thing is is like when elks meese <laughs> that sounds so funny when they drop their antlers it's not painful for them it's a little discomfort like there's a little bit of discomfort it's a little uncomfortable and then they have to be afterwards when they lose their antlers they have to be very cautious and they have to be very careful because you know where their antlers are it's very very vulnerable so it feels like the energy that's coming through here um in regards to this new growth so it kind of seems like scorpio you have you're transitioning from the end of a cycle and the end of the cycle um you may be very vulnerable at this place but you're stepping into a time a period of your life of this new growth and the thing is uh, also as i found this out as i'm googling this shit um that when elks regrow their antlers it is fast as fuck and the more that you take care of yourself the more that you invest in yourself the quicker this new growth is going to grow every single moment every single day um because apparently when they're regrowing their antlers it can grow up to like eight inches in a day like that's massive that's some quick ass growth so it feels like scorpio because the first image that i got was like the small little green leaf of new growth so i feel like you're on this new wave or this new cycle and like it's new growth for you and the more that you surround yourself with good energy and that you take care of yourself and that you invest in yourself the quicker the more like expansive this energy is gonna be for you so that's the vibe i was picking up on when i was meditating on your energy scorpio so with that being said <laughs> let's jump into the tarot and see what's really going on it's really taking place for october 2022 but it's powerful and it feels really good i think that this month for you is going to be a time where you feel really creative um where you just want to expand 
on the path that you're on like think big think better think grander um go big or go home you know some of you romance is coming up or there is like a strong attraction that's developing or there's a connection that is growing maybe that's relating to the whole reproducing and procreation and all that jazz babies and all that like some of y'all <laughs> some of y'all be careful if you're not trying to end up pregnant you know the drill you know what you gotta do um just a heads up because i was kind of feeling this energy of like pregnancy or new birth or or um you know expanding in that kind of way so just be mindful of that if that applies but yeah let's pull some cards now and see what's going on for scorpio in october 2022 oh 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 whoa Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Okay, so we have endings, 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 and endings. Which is kind of what I was feeling, right? Um, messages for Scorpio. Okay. Judgment, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and the Six of Wands. And then we also have, you see this, we have... Okay, y'all really gave me the stacks today. King of Pentacles reverse, Two of Pentacles, and the Fool. Okay, we're going to go with these cards for now in this moment. I'm going to keep these cards in the way that they fell out here. So we have Aries energy as well as some fire, earth. We've got Taurus energy out here. So this, this feels like this is taking place. Um, definitely... In October, especially as we're approaching eclipse season, which is going to be occurring in your sign. We have the solar eclipse in Scorpio in like the third week of October, give or take. Can't remember the exact date, but so you're going to be feeling this energy. I feel like there's change that's happening, but it's, it's slow. It's a slow transition but yet it's drastic enough where you're going to be looking back at this. Um, even in a couple of months, you're going to be looking back and seeing how drastic things have changed. I think your ships are coming in, Scorpio. Three of Wands to then the Six of Wands. So we have growth happening here. And it's pretty exponential, I want to say. Okay? Like, this is a time where you can expect a lot of growth. And um, you've been patient. You've been so freaking patient. Oh, my God and you know you've been expecting this you've been expecting success you've been expecting to um like you you've been knowing that it's only a matter of time until your ships come in and arrive and like what you've been wanting what you've been manifesting what you've been calling forth what you've been literally bringing in attracting with your magnetic energy scorpio it's happening and it's happening very soon and i feel like i feel like this month for you you're really starting to notice this shift you're really starting to be aware of the subtle changes that have been changed that have been occurring in your day-to-day -day life like again with judgment of the knight of pentacles this isn't such this is a completely different energy that i was picking up in cancer's reading for cancer it was like sudden unexpected like boom whereas yours it's 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 expected and it's subtle and it's gentle it's coming in just like a smooth sailing maybe a couple little ripples here and there but not like chaos like full in like being thrown into this new cycle like your energy is completely different where it's like you've been expecting this change if anything you maybe are the one that is initiating this change um or you like again like this is the beginning of something new here and at the moment, at the moment, King of Pentacles reverse and the Two of Pentacles, um, there might be some indecision that you have about the path that you're on or you have, see, because we have the Fool that came out after this. So you have a choice about this new start or this new, like basically what we're talking about, this new growth, this expansion, this um building outwards and building upwards so i really feel like there's like this energy of you just being like stretched and like <laughs> like that's like a weird ass image but that's literally like you feel like you're getting taller you're getting wider you're getting longer like i get this imagery of like being stretched it's funny but so you have a choice to make and you may not be feeling the most grounded right now or there's like a lot of change that's been occurring and you feel 
oh like the foundation isn't concrete like it feels um it feels like there's like a lot of shifts like it just i like it's think about like concrete when it hasn't set um it's the foundation that you have it's not oh shit this goes this goes back in with what i was saying about the antlers when oh my god this is just so interesting the energy that i'm picking up on when they're regrowing their new antlers even at the early stages right their antlers are still very soft they're still very um like i said they're very vulnerable so it seems like you're in this stage of regrowing your antlers scorpio and like you're at this place where it, it's extremely vulnerable and you need to take care of whatever this is that's growing or developing and like because it's still getting established it's still trying to it's still trying to establish itself so yeah and so that's why the foundation it feels like the foundation isn't yet set it's not set in stone the energy i'm feeling from you scorpio in october is like nothing is yet set in stone and that there's still room to make adjustments or make changes if you're not quite satisfied with where things are at this is the perfect time right now in october is to make those adjustments before everything is set in stone and concrete i feel like by the end i feel like okay I feel like by eclipse season, that's where it's really going to cement things. So right now, from here to the solar eclipse, the new moon in Scorpio, this is a time to make adjustments because once this eclipse season begins, that's where it's really going to cement this path that you're on. Okay, so if you're happy with the path that you're on, Scorpio, awesome, amazing, great. Um, if you're not, or if there's some adjustments that you feel are necessary to make around this time, this would be the right time to make those changes. Um, besides that, though, this is pretty awesome. Now, we do have the Ten of Swords and Judgment. So, Judgment and the Ten of Swords. Um, I'm picking up on past energy here, and I do have to throw out the scenario with judgment judgment can sometimes talk about people from the past coming back around and the fact this came up with the knight of pentacles for some you could be receiving an apology or hearing from someone that you had a fallout with someone might be thinking about um approaching you not even just thinking but they're actually making the move to approach you so i think we will clarify this because we do have plenty of time in this read so i am picking up on the energy for some of you if you've been wanting to reconcile with somebody this may be your chance to do so if that's what you wish um i do also see positive changes in your home life in your family in your friendships in your um emotional sector feeling really fulfilled feeling really happy and getting what you want getting what you wish for so there's that uh let's see is there anything else that i missed is there anything else i think a lot of you this month you're going to be getting some sort of recognition for what it is that you do your hard work and efforts i think you're gonna finally be seen by many many people and i also feel like you could be offering some sort of solution to someone or like you it's and it's weird because i'm picking up with um knight of pentacles judgment and the ten of cups i feel like you could be provide or either you are giving this or someone's giving this to you like someone is providing you or giving you the opportunity or you're giving someone the opportunity to bring them something that's gonna make them really happy or someone is coming in with an offer that's gonna make you really happy and it's divinely orchestrated and maybe this is the off the offer you didn't think you were going to receive like you kind of were hoping for it like in your manifestations what you're trying to call in what you're trying to attract you're like i want this offer i like for some example if you're in a committed relationship you want to get married to this person right and maybe you've been really like hoping and praying that they're gonna pop the question you know like you know that you guys have talked about it you've had the conversation maybe you've been together for some time now and you've been waiting and you've been anticipating but you haven't known when is this going to happen right but now this might be the time where that offer finally comes in 
that's an example right that's just an example if this is like in regards to work or um yeah like if this is in regards to work you've been waiting for some sort of success and you've been very very knight of pentacles you've been so knight of pentacles on the three of wands like scorpio you've been so freaking patient you've been so patient and it's finally finally coming in so it's an offer that you've been waiting on or an opportunity that you've been waiting on that's finally coming in and you know there was some times there are some moments here where you felt like it wasn't coming or you were starting to consider your other options in case it wasn't going to come in like you were coming up with backup plans but you don't need to rely on those backup plans you don't need those backup plans at all because it's plan a all along um wow okay scorpio so <laughs> that's really cool this is some awesome energy i'm really happy for you uh let's see let's see let's see let's see is there anything else that i've missed here no nothing else coming to mind so with that being said i think we should clarify um i'm not gonna use that deck shit what deck do i want to use you know what give me a second i'm gonna use this one okay yeah, so let me take a look into the judgment energy. Because judgment, it does talk about things that are outside of your control, but I feel like this is in your favor. I feel this is in your favor. Tell me about judgment for Scorpio in October 2022. What's this judgment energy about? Whoa. Whoa six of pentacles this is in your favor that's what i was saying this is finally bringing things back into balance two of swords Tell me about judgment for scorpio in october 2022 eight of swords so this is where you were at feeling blinded feeling like you can't see a damn thing feeling like you don't know what's going on what's around the corner what to expect but it's all working out for you, right? That eight of swords to the two of swords, just feeling stuck, feeling stagnant, not sure where to go, what to do, going back and forth about the path that you're on. What adjustment should I make? Am I happy with where I'm at? Maybe I'm not, maybe I am. Going back and forth, back and forth, one foot in, one foot out. Um, just kind of having doubts, questioning, am I on the right path? Is this path really meant for me? I've been patient, but I also question maybe I've been too patient. Maybe I'm like, maybe I should move on. Like there's been like a lot of mental fog and you haven't been able to really see what's yet to come. You haven't been able to see what's around the corner. Spirit really, really wants you to stay grounded, right? That King of Pentacles reverse can talk about like the lack of balance or lack of feeling grounded. Right now, you really got to earth yourself, okay? Get really rooted because the changes are about to come in. You got to be prepared and you got to be ready and you got to have that solid foundation under your feet. So that's that concrete energy that I was saying. It doesn't really feel like things right now are concrete. So it, like I said, this judgment energy that's coming in this change the shift that's coming in is here to cement the path that you're on so again scorpio i'm repeating myself but if you're happy with the path that you're on amazing then there's nothing you really need to do just keep watering the ground the grass that you're standing on and you're gonna have a beautiful path you're gonna have beautiful green grass if you aren't happy with where you're at this is now the time this is like your last call your last chance to make the change to make the shift to do things differently okay because once this judgment call comes in it cements everything okay mm -hmm. um and this is what's bringing things into balance here now i wanted to look into that knight of pentacles and see what this opportunity might be or what this offer could be um time about this knight of pentacles for scorpio Tell me about Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio in October 2022. Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. What is this energy? Show me clearly for October 2022. Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Whoa, shit. Wheel of Fortune. So this is what changes everything. This opportunity, this offering, this, this slow, subtle change that's been occurring the chariot can't say energy this is where things begin to pick up for you the speed is picking up the pace is speeding up 
and you gotta be ready and you gotta be prepared for what's to come page oops oh my god fucking threw that card far page of pentacles princess of pentacles tell me about this hold on tell me about this knight of pentacles for scorpio in october 2022 knight of pentacles for scorpio please that didn't come out so all right anything else regarding this opportunity queen of wands anything else hangman reverse okay coming out of stagnancy two of wands ten of cups and the five of cups at the bottom five of pentacles three of wands so we have a lot of this double confirmation sorry i was getting a cramp in my finger i had to like crack my fingers for a second there <laughs> realign myself like i was saying to you guys like this is the time to realign right now realign your body realign your mind realign your soul's purpose where you're supposed to be so this is a time where you are getting back to alignment okay so we have pisces energy scorpio energy out here letting you know the zodiac signs so this opportunity that's coming in this offer some of you are receiving an offer some of you are starting a new job some of you have uh an apology coming in um but this is some powerful stuff and you're feeling really confident in this which is good we go we go from that kind of doubt hesitation mm, i don't know i don't know i don't know it's not concrete it's not concrete to oh shit this is for real this is concrete this is like this is some long-term shit right here and this this is serious this is the big ticket <laughs> the big ticket okay and this is where things really start to shift for you in such positive ways though and there's such excitement here and you're seeing things from a different perspective hangman reverse you understand why certain things happened you understand why certain people couldn't have come with you on this path why you went through certain loss why you went through certain experiences you're starting to understand why things happened the way they did it's all really starting to click and make sense to you and now the hangman reverse you're coming out of a period of stagnation um and now it's about choosing the path that's going to make you the happiest here two of two of uh oh my god wands i was about to say cups i was about to say pentacles <laughs> so i guess wands two of wands and the ten of cups choosing the path that's going to bring you the most freedom the most happiness the most emotional fulfillment after what five of pentacles five of cups and you know we can even probably tie this back to the ten of swords after some massive loss endings feeling alone feeling isolated feeling like um separated from people that you love people that you miss just feeling really unhappy this is where there's like a turning point for you scorpio and there's an opportunity and a door is opening for you this new growth right it's almost like when a plant is about to die and you're like damn fuck i killed the plant like <laughs> trust me i've been there so many times and you keep like watering it in hopes that maybe it's gonna come back but maybe it doesn't come back but that's where the new sprout comes and you're like oh my god like okay the original plant died but now i have this new plant and if i take care of it and if i'm very if i'm very cautious um then this can be something that could last a lifetime so it goes back to um what we were saying with the whole antler thing is like right now as your new antlers are growing symbolically as we're speaking right right now they're super vulnerable and yeah like at this point if you're not careful you could damage it you could lose it <laughs> uh injury right and with that being said it's like when not deer oh my god moose or elk when if that happens where they end up injuring their new antlers they can become deformed and it's like shit it kind of sucks but it's only for the next year and then they just drop it and then they regrow new ones so even if that didn't work it's only temporary and you'll have another shot at it so it's just kind of like you know you can't fuck this up whatever this new growth is or whatever this new opportunity is you can't fuck it up because it's meant to be it's literally meant to be for you scorpio it's destined it's it's part of the plan it's part of where you're supposed to head and you know that and so you can't screw this up so there's no need for you to stress out about it there's no need for you to second guess or doubt yourself because you can't mess this up and it, 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 even if you do which you're not it's just 
a mistake, but you learn from it and it's not the end of the world because you can try again. You got new growth again. Like it feels like you have unlimited amount of chances at this because this is this is part of your journey. This is where you're supposed to be. Like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Scorpio. Like there there you go. There's your message for the month of October. I don't want to pull any more cards. I don't want to use any other decks. Like I think the message is very loud and clear here. Wow. Okay. So, Scorpio, if this reading was resonating with you or helped you in any way, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, I am available. You can book with me. Just the information's in the description down below. If you want to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. But yeah, Scorpio, powerful shit. I'm excited for you. Anyways, take care, Scorpio, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.